Good morning, everybody. Christian Kraswitz here. I hope everybody had a terrific weekend. Uh, spent a lot of time uh, sending out Google Plus invites. And so, you know, if you want to join Google Plus, do me a favor, um, send me a quick email. Um, you can also send me a tweet. You can connect with me on Facebook, etc. Just uh, send me your contact info and I'll get an invite right out to you. So on to this morning's topic. I want to cover uh, three of my favorite uh, apps to use when you're on the go and you want to still use social media. And, you know, I hear this a lot. People are like, well, I'll just do it when I get home. Uh, well, you know what? I'm really there to focus on the conference uh, that I'm attending, etc. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with doing that. There's also nothing wrong, though, with staying social. And a number of reasons why you may want to do this are because um, it'll help you in the long run. Um, you never know who you're going to meet. So if you're with somebody and, you know, you casually say, hey, you know what? Can I, uh, you know, can we connect on Facebook or on Twitter? Um, instead of sitting there, you know, well, let me get my paper out or, you know what, let me try to remember that with all the flurry of information going on. Um, instead, you can just whip out your smartphone and you can easily shoot them an email. Um, if they're on Facebook or they're on Twitter, you know, as you can see here, I got some apps here. Um, I can easily go in and add those people. Um, another thing, though, that, um, you know, these apps are all great, but the one challenge you have a lot of times is, you're accessing it with millions of users and it's not always uh, fast. And if you have a poor connection, um, you won't be able to, in those cases, connect with some of those people. So these are some different apps um, that I want to show you how to um, use. These are three of my favorite productivity apps for social media. And so to get started, um, I'm going to cover the first app. It's called Bump. Okay, so you can see it there. And I guess that's the right hand corner. And this is available from the iTunes store. It's uh, look for B-U-M-P. Uh, basically what this app does is it allows me to bump two devices together and send information back and forth. Um, one catch obviously is that everybody has to have uh, bump installed, but you know, if you're using an iPhone for instance, um, you probably have this or you can get it. This is a free app. So just search bump in the app store. And so you just basically bump the two devices together and you can decide to sync um, contacts, uh, you can sync additional information, they even like just send apps and stuff back and forth. So it's pretty neat. Um, I find this app really helpful uh, for when you know, I don't really have a whole lot of time to sit there and talk with somebody. Uh, I might say, hey, you know what? Oh, let's connect. Oh, hey, I remember you from last year. You know, um, this time, instead of um, not having your information ready, you can just say, hey, you know what, let's bump. And basically all you do is, you know, you take the two items, you bump them together, transfer. So, the second productivity tool that um, I really like, I'm not sure if a lot of people uh, know about this one, but it's called Boxcar. And it's there on the, right there, it's that, that red B. And what's really great about this app is that not only does it allow you to, um, well, let's see how can I put it. Think of it like this. I can add all of my social media icons and I can add all of my blogs that I like to read. And so if I ever want to go, let's just say I want to quickly scan Twitter, because here's the thing, you're not, with social, you don't always have to be checking it, but you want to be able to check it fairly quickly. Um, I can go, for instance, into my Twitter account, and what I will see here are people that favorited, people that retweeted my information, new followers, um, a mention, etc. So I'm going to see all the actions on Twitter in this app. And what's great though is that you know I can see that that person followed me. I can click on their name, and then I can go in and I can follow them, which is pretty amazing. I mean, I just followed somebody just in a second there. I mean, it was pretty cool. So in addition to being letting you check Twitter and whatnot, um, there's also a Facebook app that does the same thing. Allows you to go in and you can go through and scan through your messages, friend requests, people that sent you a, a message. For instance, I got some. Uh, friend requests there, people that accepted friend requests. Um, I've also got people that like content. So I can see everything all in one little convenient place, one app. And lastly, um, on this, um, I can also go and visit the mobile, uh, the RSS feed of some of my favorite websites. So for example, if I wanted to go visit um, one of my favorite blogs, I can go in and I can quickly scan and read See the little RSS uh, sign there on the side? I can go in and quickly scan and read 
any of these blog posts. And there's conveniently a mail message button in the lower right hand corner. And what this will allow me to do is it'll allow me to take this and send this to people uh, right then and there. So if I if there's a blog post going up or I happen to read an article um, that I really liked, I can just send it right there. Done, done, done. And again, it uses my contacts from my phone. The ones that I got, you know, by bumping together. So um, there you have it, that's Boxcar. And you can add additional services. There are services like Foursquare on there. Um, you've also got app recommendations. You can add your email as well into this. So that way it's like an all-in-one solution. And from my experience, it's been pretty quick. So the third item I wanna cover um, is, is not Facebook, it's not Twitter, it's not Google Plus, I love those apps. However, uh, a lot of times it can be a little overwhelming when you use those because you're like, well, I wanna go to Facebook and you open the Facebook app. And then I wanna go to Twitter and I wanna check Twitter. You know, and then I'm gonna go check Google Plus. I'm doing all these different checks. And by that point, you know, I, I've, I'm losing time each time I jump between app. So what I like to recommend are two apps. Um, you can use either one. Um, I have TweetDeck, for instance, on my phone. And what's really great about this is that it allows me to set up cards. So for example, if I want to see somebody that was mentioned, um, let's just say, uh, let's just see, ah, the debt ceiling. Say we're talking about the debt ceiling, for instance, and I want to see people that are talking about the debt ceiling because that's something that interests me. Um, I can go in and I can set up a feed that says mentions and all I or sorry, not mentions, um, that uses the term debt ceiling. And I can easily click on it and it pulls up all the messages that are being sent on say Twitter. And I can easily go in and follow those people, comment, share, et cetera, retweet. What's great though about this app is that it does add some additional columns in there as well. Um, it does allow me to add in other accounts. So I can add Facebook, I can um, add Twitter, I can add Foursquare, um, Gowalla, all sorts of different apps. And it also though does one thing that I really love. It allows me to schedule my content. So let's just say, again, we talked about the theme was what? I'm going to a conference. But hey, I'm not gonna necessarily be on social media all day. Well, you can use this app to schedule your content. And schedule your content meaning I can schedule a reply to a person. I can schedule a new tweet. I can schedule a Facebook message. I can do all of these things within this one app. And um, the benefit to doing that is that I'll now be able to continue connecting with people while I'm sitting there increasing my knowledge. So um, it's a free app. TweetDeck is a free app. Um, it's a tremendous app. Um, I love it, I use it a lot. And I also have a second one that I like to use and that is um, good old Hootsuite. And Hootsuite is um, free to an extent as well. It's free if you have two different, uh, two accounts that you wanna add. Or sorry, I think it's five actually, sorry. Um, but uh, it's, you know, it's free to that extent. But if you're managing multiple accounts and you got all these different pages, uh, they do charge $6 a month. It's like $72 a year if you think about it. Um, think about it, you, all the productivity, all the time you're saving, $72 a year. Um, but again, like I said, there is a free app for that. So you can, um, you can use it with you know, your personal account and you don't have to add all your accounts. Um, and it works pretty much the same. I will let you know right now, I will be putting together some additional videos on using um, some of these scheduling agents uh, later in the next day or two. But my favorite, uh, my three, actually I guess that's four favorite apps. So you got a free one this morning. Um, not one last thing I want to mention, you know, your iPhone, in this case, for instance, you see how you have all these, like, let me scroll through, you still have all these apps, right? And you still have some of these that are here that are like squares with like lots of little things in them, right? Well, what I can do, which is another tip that I like to do, is I like to set up a folder. And in this case, I have a folder called social. And to do this, it's really simple. So when the app downloads, let's just say I wanna make a folder out of Google and Facebook. All I do is I hold my finger on that and look what happens. The icons start jiggling. And all I do is hold my finger, I basically think of it like this, I'm picking up the app and dragging it onto another one. So I'm gonna drag Google Plus onto Facebook and now I have a social, another social folder. So in this case, I like to do things like I like to have a business folder, et cetera, 
But um, if you've got a lot of social stuff that you want to put on there, you know, you can just drag it out of the folder. And let's just say we want to put it in the other social. We just hold it, you drag, you drop it, and you, and you tap. And look at that. I now have a social folder with all of my social apps in there. So there you have it, everyone. That's uh, three tools to help you be more productive when you're at a conference. Again, these are more for checking and keeping track of your social uh, media accounts and for adding people and connecting with new people. Um, I'll also cover a few additional ones uh, later on, you know, more productivity ones such as, um, you know, your photo sharing, your video sharing, etc. So there you have it. I hope you'll have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.